Hello, my name is Tim Troy, I'm from East Cork, a member of the Mogili Vintage Tractor Club. And uh, here on a wet wintry day, and uh, I'd just like to show you my um, 3050, which is quite special to me. So I've actually two collectible John Deere tractors at the moment. First one, the 3050, bought in 2016 from England. Two and a half years later, I bought the 7810. Um, I've always had an interest in 3050s. Um, I suppose when I was growing up, when I was a young uh, boy growing up on the farm, uh, our contractor used to have a number of uh, these John Deere tractors with the SG2 cab. And, you know, they're a very unique cab at the time. Um, they were also very, uh, I suppose, comfortable tractor compared to other tractors of the time. And I suppose unique because of uh, the centre pillar going up to the windscreen in line with the exhaust. They always had um, a special draw for me. Well, you know, back in early 2016, I was interested in trying to source a John Deere 3050. Uh, looking on the web, I came across this one and uh, got additional photos sent over. And once I saw the photos of the internal of the cab in particular, I was hooked. So then it was a case of just getting light to Manchester to see the tractor. So uh, this particular 3050, the owner actually had given it to a local John Deere sales um, and to sell it on his behalf. He just didn't want to be dealing with the end customer. So I visited um, the John Deere um, salesman's home, saw the tractor and within five minutes I knew that if I could agree a price it was definitely the tractor for me. I agreed to deal with Mark anyway on, on the funds the tractor was going to cost and I arranged then for 10 days later that the tractor would be collected. So in the meantime I asked Mark for his bank account details so that I could wire the money over. But four days later I got an urgent call from Mark and uh, he said the truck for the tractor was in the yard to collect the tractor and I said Mark, I said he's a week early. I said you've no money for it so you know um, I understand it can't come now. So I said I'm happy if you send the truck away, I'll arrange the money. So Mark asked me, he said Tim can I trust you and I said Mark it's easy for me to say yes you've never met me, I'm in a different country. So he said look, he said Tim I trust you, he said I'm sure you'll send me the money. So he put the log book into the tractor, shipped the tractor over so I had the tractor in Middleton two days later. Uh, still no funds transferred and a lovely tractor in my uh, backyard. So five days later anyway Mark had his uh, money um, in the bank and uh, we've remained good friends since. The tractor is a 1990 tractor, it has 8,500 hours in it, you wouldn't think it to look at it but it is because you know, Mark did a very good nut and bolt um, restoration on it uh, before I got it, so, uh, which was great for me. So the tractor really has a life of luxury now because uh, I mean it's, it's, not gonna, it's only going to do a few hours work for me every year. Um, that consists of a few uh, tractor runs, maybe drawing silage for a day during the summer. It's good to use them occasionally as well just to make, make them sweat. I suppose a number of other runs then with Mogili Vintage. I plan to go to the Kilbritton tractor run over Christmas on the 29th of December uh, for Jimmy Manny and his team down there to do a lot of good work for um, uh, raising funds for uh, a voluntary basis and there's at least 400 plus tractors going to be there. So the spec in this particular tractor it has a 30k box, high lift, non-turbo. That was a good spec for the time. If you can recall, these 50 series tractors were out from 86 to 93. That's what's a standout feature for the tractor for me is the SG2 cab. Um, it was way ahead of its time and uh, really even for a day's work at the moment it's still a comfortable place to do a day's work. <laughs>